Welcome back everyone. I'm here with some more missing women shooting and men cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located if they know. And we also here to see their alive to see body suit exchange if think to see or miss identity. Yeah, I really should know who's involved. The white supremacists, African Americans, and the immigrants. So let's begin. This is by a young woman named Ayana, A Y A N N A Smith, 26, boyfriend convicted of her murder. She remains missing. She do look familiar. This is how she looks. Two, two days before she went missing, there were posts on social media suggesting that Ayana Smith had married her boyfriend of just a few months, Malcolm Hunter. The pair didn't actually wear the blue, presenting that they were in a blissful relationship. For 26 years old, Ayana's family, because she could still be around. I, don't, I ain't hearing nothing from her, so she don't know where she at right now. <clears throat> However, life turned into a nightmare after she disappeared from Enterprise, Alabama. It was on January the 21st, 2017, when Ayana's mother, Patricia Smith, Stated that her daughter traveled to Dorothy, Alabama to get her driver's license. The following day, the following day, Patricia didn't have contact with her daughter, but she did see Hunter driving Ayana's car. He was alone. Hunter reportedly told Patricia that he was on his way to pick up Ayana Smith, but when the concerned mother saw him in the car later, he was he was once again by himself. The vehicle was then handed over to one of Ayana's friends before it returned to Parisa, and what she found inside was concerning. Parisa located Ayana's wallet, one of her daughter's shoes, two cell phones in which one were broken, and private documents, including medical records thrown about. A panel had also been ripped from the door. The scene was unsettling, so Parisa decided to contact authorities. Here's another picture of her. According to her parents, Ayana spoke with them multiple times a week, and she wasn't the type of person who was prone to leaving without contact for long periods. Authorities quickly questioned Malcolm Hunter, and during their initial conversations, he denied knowing what happened to his girlfriend. However, he later changed his story and told investigators that when he and Ayana Smith was at his aunt's house, an argument ensured. During the fight, Hunter claimed his aunt shot Ayana in the chest and someone drove off with her. When they returned, Ayana was missing. Police followed up on Hunter's story, but they didn't find any evidence to collaborate his account. Hope this ain't the young lady that I helped get out of jail because she got pregnant by the security guard. Yes, when they inspected Hunter's vehicle, police reportedly located blood traces belonging to Ayana Smith, a snare of vision. Malcolm Hunter was arrested on July on, on February the second and tried for Ayana's murder. During his trial, a witness told a jury they saw Hunter driving in a vehicle that looked as if there was a lifeless body of a woman in his car. Another person took the stand and told the court that Hunter asked if they could help him dispose of a firearm. On May the sixteenth, Malcolm Hunter was found guilty of the murder of his girlfriend Ayana Smith. He was given the maximum sentence of life without parole. His attorneys told reporters they plan on appealing the conviction. Ayana remains missing. Ayana Smith, what to know? At the time of her disappearance, Ayana Smith stood five feet tall and rated 150 pounds. She had black, dark brown hair and brown eyes. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Enterprise Police Department at 334-347-1211. The people that got a real answer, or they know something about it, will answer, or their local authorities. Please share this story by Ayana Smith to help bring closure to this case. She's our sister, and her life matters. So, if y'all like to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And to the real families of this victim, we will get you set up, okay? Thank you.